today we're back with another review of the Carnivore Club boxes. Well, not just one, we've got two boxes. We've got a Carnivore Club Jerky Bouquet box, then a Carnivore Club Snack box. So, the Carnivore Club sent these to me as a gift to unbox and review and taste test on this YouTube channel. But if you are interested in getting yourself a Carnivore Club box, there will be a direct link in the description box to the website. Anything you buy, use promo code KICK10, correct? Yes, K-I-C-K-10-1-0. For 10% off the entire website. So all these boxes, 10% off. Good deal. Yes. So yeah, huge shout out to them, hooking us up again with some more meat. It's <laughs> just pretty awesome, <laughs> I with have some to say. meat. So this box is already opened up, so we're going to do this one first. We're just going to open this thing up. We're going to do some taste testing because I kind of want some food going on. So it's in a fancy little box here, and um, it like flips open. So inside the box, you've got a little pamphlet, and then we Ooh, got the meat. The goods. This is the Carnivore Club USA Tempasta Artisan Salami. And actually, it tells each one what's a little bit about it. So we'll just is start. Is it Tempesta? Maybe. Not pasta. Tem tempesta. Pasta. Tempesta. Tempestra. I don't even know club. if I'm saying it right. <laughs> I don't know. But... but yeah, we got some stuff here that's spicy, some gluten-free, and some not vegan. So as we taste test stuff, there's a little, it has a meat menu that tells you about each item. What? Wait, so you we... said not vegan? Yes, it says not vegan. So there's vegan things? Probably. Huh. Yeah, so like all these, they'll have like a little spicy symbol symbols so oh, all of these are not vegan symbol. there's only one thing with spicy but everything here is, is not vegan so we are prepared this time we got plate knife napkins and drinks so this is almost like a meal time with the millers right now <laughs> like full meals so I'll go ahead, I'll let you choose out the first meat to try, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. I'm going with the uncured pepperoni. Unlike a lot of mass-produced pizza chain pepperoni, this one is not cooked. Instead, it is fermented and fully aged like any other classic salam salami. They grind premium Berkshire pork shoulder and then season with top quality fennel, paprika, and cayenne. So with the kind of have a little, have a little bit of a kick to it. Not much, just a little bit that you know that that you're alive. So this first one is just a big chunk it's, of pepperoni. <laughs> it it kind of it's an odd shape. A big chunk of pepperoni. As, as you cut it, can you smell the aroma coming off of it, or it smells good. Ooh, it does smell nice. It has a nice marbling to it. That much I do know, like, you know, like the smart taste tester will say, it's I'm marbling. already eating. <laughs> <laughs> so you marble away. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, that's good. It tastes like. That's amazing. That's a good pepperoni. That tastes like. That's a good pepperoni. Like that should be on a really good pizza. Yes. That would be perfect on a good New York style big greasy pizza it'd be good on any kind of pizza or well onion. a quality pizza yes <laughs> that's really good so the first mm -hmm. one fantastic and it has marbling i know taste tester would talk about the marbling i'm just going to say it has marbling but you have the flavor it's very rich it's not spicy it has a little bit of cayenne in it but just enough to where it gives oh, you it's this, perfect. just like a small bite but it's not bad uh, it's not like spicy it is gluten-free, and there are no antibiotics. And it tastes good. It's good. Two big thumbs up on that one. I like that, that one. That was good. That one might not make it through the night. Probably won't. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. We got a lot of meat, but... Meat number two. We will have the salami snack stick. Hot. Ooh, this is the hot snack sticks. Meat sticks are having a bit of a moment right now, and we get why. They're portable, protein-packed, and delicious. And these salami sticks have a little kick to them to keep your taste buds in focus. So we each get a beef stick then. 
If awesome. it's hot though, I may not want. Yeah, you all better of better it. cut it in half, my cubes. She's. I love hot stuff, spicy stuff. I don't. She's not a big hot person. <laughs> <laughs> You are a hot person, babe. You don't like hot. You're you're you're, um, you're, you're not uh -huh, a food hot person. Uh -huh. You knew what I meant. Yeah, it you, just, you it just, just keep. It just uh, sounded kind of funny. You just keep trying to dig yourself out of that hole you just built, nah. Doug. Nah. What kind of first scent do you have? It's not really in, until you cut into it. I don't think. No, it just. just go ahead and cut it. It smells like a beef jerky. Like, but like the first one, once you cut into it, that's when you got the smells and they were the aromas. Like beef jerky. That's. It's very easy to bite into. It's moist. It's and tender. It says hot, but I'm not getting heat. No. Like. But it's fabulous. I'm getting lots of flavor. And I like that the outer... Well, it's not chewy and skinny. Um, sometimes sometimes I've had like sticks and the outer coating when you bite down on it, it has like um, almost like a popping sensation because yeah. you're breaking through whatever skin's on there or no. the casing. It's not skin, it's casing. This does not have that. It's very smooth. Um, it breaks up with the meat inside. Uh -huh. You can't tell the difference between the outer casing and the meat. Mm -hmm. You can't tell the difference. It all flows nicely. I like that. That was a good beef stick. It was a good beef good, stick. That was a good beef stick. But yeah, I would not say that was hot though. Uh-uh. But if it, it, my taste buds were in focus. We're still focused. That was good. It was good. The Very best, good. the pepperoni though was still the best. Yes, it that is. The pepperoni had mm -hmm. fantastic flavoring. That was nice. Uh-huh. So we got three things left. Let's do okay. one of those packages there. All right. We'll so this different. is our next one. Tempesta fennel cochinia. Yes, a sliced fennel <laughs> fennel ocho cinco. He was a football player. Ocho cinco is close enough. Considered their most boldly seasoned product, this salami inspired by the cuisine and traditions of Tuscany and is one of Tuscany's oldest and most loved pork products. It is seasoned with garlic, black pepper, and most notably, fennel. I'm excited to go to fennel. Tuscany right Sliced now. Sliced fin ocho cinco. I like the way I said it better. Ocho cinco. Ooh, it does look kind of nice though. It looks a little juicy. Smell it. Smell it. Ooh. Let me get some of that. Um, it smells different. Not what I expected it to smell not like. Not what I expected it to smell like not, either. Not what I expected whatsoever. It looks like a little piece of like Canadian bacon. Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah, it smells. It smells like bread. It tastes like just bread like too. Just like a loaf of bread. It smells like a loaf of bread. I'm just like it does. Bread. It tastes like bread. It tastes like a piece of whole wheat bread. Like straight up, that has to be the fennel. It smells like bread. It tastes like bread. That's weird. That's not. It wasn't a, bad though. I mean, it's different. It's not my favorite. Put some cheese on it. Be fabulous. I bet. It would be very good with some crackers and. This one has more marbling in it. it has like big white specks. That might make a difference. It is kind of kind of greasy. I'm not sure what it's that very what, what that grease is from. Uncured fennel. Poland salami. That's not what I expected it to taste like. Uh -uh. Not pepperoni. Different. The first item is still the winner of this box. That's good. It's not what I expected though. Caught me off guard it has completely. Pork, sea salt, wine, spices, celery powder, dextrose, garlic, lactic acid, and starter culture. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do the other one that was just like that one. The other flat package? Yeah. This let's, one? Let's just, it's yeah. the Soprestita Picante. Picante. Perhaps the most well-known Italian dry cured salami. So this is going back to a salami this time. Spicy Soprestia has a unique and unmistakable taste created through the perfect flavor balance of 
Berkshire pork and black pepper. The pepper also provides the meat with a distinct red color that enriches it. So yeah, so the other one is said the most notably was the fennel. So uh -huh. the fennel was the bread. This one is a distinct meat flavor. Okay. So now, let me get the whiff. You, you like stuck your nose in it. No, I did. I don't smell anything, much of anything anyway. Again, looks like Canadian bacon. It's very different. It's not very flavorful. Not really. It doesn't have much of a taste at all. Tastes totally different though than the first oh, one. Totally Taste -wise, different. It's night and day. Yeah. I wouldn't know that it was made by the same brand to pesta. If you gave them to me, I would say that's two completely different everything. Yes. It tastes nothing alike. The first one tastes like bread. The second one doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor. I can't it's really, just, I can't, I can't find the flavor. It's very, very mild. Very mild. They're extremely greasy, but mm -hmm. they go down. They just slap right, right down your throat though. Well, because they're so greasy. <laughs> they're really greasy. They were good, but it wasn't like the pepperoni where the flavor just knocks you out yeah. whenever you get it, where your taste buds are just going crazy. Agreed. Yeah. So we got one more left in this first box. This one will be the Nostrano. This is Nostrano. Nostrano. This salami is made with Berkshire pork, pink peppercorns, wine, and garlic. The flavors are really unique, initially starting with floral notes and then works into a great pepper finish. These flavors pair well with melon and figs and with a soft cheese like brie or goat cheese. Oh, I love brie. Brie. Oh. Brie mode. Not the wrestler. <laughs> She's a huge fan of brie bella. No, I'm not. Huge. No, I'm huge. not. Don't let him fool you. Huge fan of Brie Bella right here. No. Brie mode. Not. <laughs> oh. That's some marbling. My That's goodness. That's a lot of marble. That looks like. It's a it lot of marble. It look. I hope that's not like. It looks like pockets of fat. That's what gives it the flavor. <laughs> that's what gives meat the flavor is is the fat and stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. Here you go. Have one. Or three. <laughs> Oh, so this does have like it, a, a film to it. It has a casing. A casing. Interesting marbling on this thing. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm a little nervous. Oh, it has a very strong peppercorn scent. It's good. Is it? It's good. It's good. I should try it. Yep, yeah, it's good. I'll go back for some more information. It's good. Oh, very chewy. And it is chewy, but it's good. It doesn't taste fat or anything. Mm. I'm not a fan of that one. It's good. Mm -mm. I mean, mm. it's too chewy. Pork flavors. The flavors are really unique. That is unique. Like, like you can taste the pork. You can taste. Does it say it's unique? Yes. It is Very unique. Very unique flavoring. I liked it. The favorite though was still the pepperoni. <laughs> I that was still care my favorite. For this. I mean, it, I think it just, for me, it was a little too chewy and it had too much of the little white speckles in it, which I'm assuming is fat. I think so. It looks like fat. But that's what gives and then it had, flavor. It had like a, a very strong peppercorn. That's, that's like that was his thing. It was to pink it. peppercorns, wine, and garlic. I, I just yeah, that was garlic. I tasted this that is was garlic. This one's not for me. It was good. It was better than the two thinly sliced things. The last two that we had, the thinly sliced ones. Oh, these. Uh, and, but the but the best was the pepperoni, and then the hot, and then the the beef sticks were were, were the second. That was the third. Those were like fourth and fifth. Yeah. Those were second. The beef sticks were second. Oh, definitely. Third, yeah. So fourth, the, fifth. the pepperoni was definitely number one. This was number two for me. What's this? And then I have that's the other end of this. Oh, uh -huh. okay. And then I think the one that tasted like bread was probably my third favorite. 
Really? Uh-huh. And then this one would be my fourth favorite, the one that didn't have a whole lot of taste. And this was my least favorite. Okay. Um, so let's move on to the next box, the Jerky Bouquet. This on the website I think is $45, if I remember correctly, but the boxes on the website start as low as $25. Bucks. But this one, I'm kind of excited about because I, I, I love beef jerky. I do too. I'm a huge beef jerky fan. So I'm excited to see what is in this we one. We often have beef jerky here at the house. Yeah. Different flavors, different brands, different everything. And um, we kind of fight over beef jerky a little bit. Let's see what we got. It's supposed to be the jerky bouquet. Oh. Oh my. Oh, how oh, yeah. cute. This says live vicariously through your mouth. There says sign up, create an account, subscribe monthly, or send gifts. Get charcuterie delivered to your door. <laughs> so it says, you've got meat. So this is actually sent as a gift to somebody. You've got meat. Someone gave you this gift because they wanted you to say, dang, that's awesome. That is awesome. Here's a gift that you can enjoy devouring one stick at a time or all at once. You be you. That's, That's kind of fun. awesome. So this is super this, cute. This is like a tr this is like a a gift that you would send to somebody that you love. <laughs> you send them a I, a bouquet of beef jerky. I hate these Ooh. things. You got buffalo sticks, elk sticks, venison sticks, all different sticks and different flavors. So you got buffalo, elk, venison. This is really cute yeah, though. It's, it's like cool. in a it's a, like in a actual like a bouquet. bouquet. That's, That's really neat. cute. That's actually a nice gift idea. Like this is an awesome idea for a gift for a man. I tell you what, there are certain men in people's lives that are very, very, very hard to shop for. Like I would love this as a gift. Very hard to shop for, and this is like a pretty cool gift. I'd be like, this is awesome. Like I would not be mad about this. As Could a you gift. imagine? Like, okay, so us ladies love to have flowers sent to us, you know. <sighs> And this, like, could this you is imagine than like flowers. yeah? Could you imagine like <laughs> sending this to your significant other at his workspace? He'd be oh, people be so jealous. Yes, they'd be like, oh my god, I want a beef stick. I'd be like, these are my beef sticks. <laughs> so a really cool yeah, that's gift. awesome. I like, I'm, I would love to have that as a gift sent from family, friends, wives, anybody. How many wives do you have? One, baby. I have one wife that matters. That matters. <laughs> so we're going to do a venison stick first. Okay. We're going to cut him in half. We each get one. Or half of one. You doing okay there? Yep. Okay. Venison. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> Smells fabulous. Yes, it does. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's actually really good. That's good. And again, it's very much like the other um, hot stick that we had, the smaller one, where when you bite down on it, you don't like break into the casing. It's just a very smooth bite. Mm -hmm. It just mixes with the meat. You can't tell which, which is which. Uh-uh. It's fabulous. No, that's really, really good. It's fabulous. Uh huh. I like it. I can live off that stuff. That's a good one. That's good. You want <laughs> oh. hot venison stick? All right, I'm gonna do the hot venison. I'll let you <laughs> help. Good job. Eat the whole thing. Oh, you were getting the bigger piece. That's what you were doing. I was like, what's happening right now? I was getting the bigger piece. I should have known. <laughs> oh, there's the heat. Mm-hmm. It took a minute. And there's the heat. I don't taste any heat. I eat like there's hot heat. stuff. I eat like hot, hot stuff. This so, 
Like it's not like blow you over, but it, whew, it does have an afterburn to it. At first I bit into it and I was like, ah, oh, there's nothing there. And now, mm hmm it's there. You want some heat? No, no, no. Let no. me grab some no, ghost no, no. pepper sauce. Uh-uh. I don't want any heat. We're going to get some ghost pepper sauce. I don't want any heat. Yeah, you do. <laughs> You're rotten. I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that. This is the kind of stuff that, that I eat on my meats, like the ghost sauce. It's like a million Scoville. Got heat to it. It's got a kick. I just want to see what kind of, let's put some hot, some ghost pepper on the meat sticks. Let's see what we got going on right here. Oh yeah. Nice. No. So I so said, now that's a little bit of heat. It's ghost pepper. A little heat? A little bit. Are, are you kidding me right now? You bit. just drank out of the bottle? It's my bottle. A little well, bit of heat. Well, yeah, because nobody else in the house is going to eat so, it. That's good. With ghost pepper sauce, without ghost pepper sauce, that was good. I liked it without ghost pepper sauce. It, was, <laughs> it still had a little heat to it, but it was good. So now we got two more. You can tell this is like really high quality meat just by the way that when when you bite into it, it ha it's uh it's so it's, soft. And yeah, moist. it's it's good quality. Yes. Which one you got? We have buffalo stick. That should be a good one. A little tiny piece. Well, all this get, meat, I'm starting to get full. Get the ghost pepper taste out of my mouth. I'm gonna get a full effect. That one's really good. A lot of flavor. What? Which one was this? Buffalo stick. That's good. That's really good. That's nice. That's nice. Like, they're all somewhat similar in taste, but there's subtle differences in each of them. Like, I feel like the venison, you could taste a little bit of a gamey taste to it. A little bit. Not, not much. Though. Not much. A little bit. But if you're not a person who eats, you know, um, gamey, like, animals or meat, I should say, if you're not a person who eats gamey meat, you can taste a little tiny bit of it. Buffalo. But the buffalo, super smooth, really solid fluid flavor. I don't know, even know if I'm speaking English right now, but it's good. Fluid flavors. <laughs> very, we're just speaking like average people that eat food and like food. It was good. It's good. That was actually the best of the three so far. I agree. Buffalo. I absolutely agree. It was the best. Okay, we've got. Elk. elk. Now I I'm not surprised that I like the buffalo because I've had buffalo burger before oh, and I that love is burger. like I love buffalo melts burger. in it, your mouth. It's good meat. It's like it's like high quality, like almost the filet mignon it's, of a burger. It's, it's an experience. So good. It's an experience. Mm, so good. This is the elk. I don't think I've ever had an elk, have I? I don't. I, I don't think I've ever had an elk. I don't really like the end pieces. I'm just kind of weird. I've been cutting off my little end pieces because it's like a little tail and it's weird. That one's the thickest. The mm -hmm. what's more what I'm trying to say? Most dense. Maybe yeah. Compacted. Compacted. It's the least um um soft. soft. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was a jerky bouquet. That's actually an awesome idea. I dig that. I love I love the um, marketing on it as well. That's that's pretty clever. 
So, ladies, yeah. if you're looking for a gift for your man, there's a whole bunch of beef sticks in there, and that good beef sticks. And how much did you say this was? Like forty five dollars with my promo code ten percent off. Kick ten. And seriously, that's a good deal yeah, for. That's a good deal for these beef sticks. If you guys have ever checked out how much beef sticks cost, they're not cheap. Beef jerky, beef sticks, all this kind of um, prepared meat, ready to eat stuff. It's not cheap. No. At all. Not cheap. Even if you were to go to the grocery store and buy, you know, XYZ brand, it's not cheap. No. So, good deal. That's a good deal, actually. And yeah, fun packaging. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun. I like that. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Huge shout out to, to the Carnivore Club for sending more boxes for us to try out. I mean, I love food. I love meat. <laughs> so this is like a match made in heaven. I, like this stuff is freaking awesome. This, this is fun. So I've got some more Carnivore Club boxes to taste test. So stay tuned. You'll see a couple more coming up. And I can't wait to see what's in those. My taste buds are ready. Are they zinging? Zing. <laughs> We're out.